fucking nigga, nah, nigga. nigga. Nigga, we ain't never saying nigga. Not nah, never. Nah, not nigga. saying nigga, nigga. Not nah, ever. Ever. Nigga, right, I ain't watching, never. Nigga. You watching, nigga. <laughs> nigga, you better chill the fuck out, nigga. <laughs> chill out, nigga. Don't, 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 fuck, <laughs> don't go fuck around, nigga. Mike, Mike gonna come on this bitch. What's up, white nigga? What's <laughs> up, my white nigga? White nigga daddy? That sound like a Tyler Perry movie. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, niggas is back. Niggas is black. As always, it's the Black Wrestling Podcast giving y'all white daddies from a nigga. I don't know what the fuck. Look, we 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 was just potting for like two hours. Shouts out to Terry. We was over on We Love Wrestling. I'm not saying niggas is potted out, but uh it's your boy Cal representing rockthedub.com. But you already knew that. Squad is on the line. Please say it was good to the people, yo. Yo, Ilfam790, social media choice, a.k.a. Fam Newton, ask your moms. I'm going deep. Damn, that's good. That's good. Cal. What's poppin'? Fam. Yeah. Drip. Yeah. Cal. <laughs> What's up? They telling us how to represent all of the shit that we made. How about that? While they moving our building with their roommates. I get it, I do. No matter who you listening to, but I could never let you make me bid you adieu. At Math Damon. That's true. Damon. It's very true. Damon. Thank you. This man. Davis, aka Drip, Stack Guy for BRP. Predictions champion, but yeah, you already know. Yeah, we already know. We already anyway. Um white motherfucker. Uh, white somebody, mother, aka white motherfucker. Like <laughs> I, I don't know. And it's not a bad thing at all, but I I I feel like I think somebody at the WWE is listening to this very podcast or at the very least at least subscribe bitch <laughs> okay there was a time somewhere where people that i might have had something to do with this remember this goes back to black announce table shots then they would say stuff i'm just saying see it play out in the future i'm just I'm, I'm like i noticed on raw it's like we've got davis on the pod and it's not just that johnny morrison is Drip, but he he got to be drip drip with the drips on the sides of his head. We 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 talked about black women being hired to the writing staff, and then last week, and we'll get to this in a little bit. And last Man, week, there's a whole a, a whole fucking dust up over. And I forgot to mention. Shouts out to to, to we love wrestling because I would have never watched the clip if it wasn't for them having the the, the Kenise Mobley. Uh, shit on there, but we'll, we'll, we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, Sasha Banks hits number one on the BRP 50 2021, and then all, all of a sudden she's an anti vaxxer or something like that. She, Smear niggas campaign, need, niggas need less internet, they need a lot less internet. Stop Googling, and then I think, for, like, there was a lot. Brother Fan the other day said. I think I've turned the corner on Matt Riddle. I, I there's something about what they did with Matt Riddle. We, we've been talking so much about how Matt Riddle is garbage, and they said, "Fuck it, we about to make this man the show." I, I don't know who's listening to the pod, but somebody listening, and they 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 moving pieces based off of, or am I just wilding out? Matt Riddle, Matt Riddle was dope pre. Yeah, he was. He's, he's he garbage. Was. He's garbage as a person. I mean, with, ah, we don't know about that. We yeah, know his character was trash. Yeah, I don't he like the character. At all. They Very. went too goofy, 
and tried to balance it out. It's like he'll be goofy outside, and then he'll come in and kick his sandals off, and then he's gonna be a real kicker. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> a real kicker is funny. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just saying somebody snitching. Whoever it is, shouts out to you for listening. But like, man, yeah, so he, he, at least subscribe, he, bitch. <laughs> So he was Somebody Michelangelo. Knew. Now he's Raphael. Yes. Huh. Uh, he's still Mike. He's his his character is Michelangelo. Yeah. He can go, but he's goofy. He's uh, just fellow goofy chucker, yo, eh? yo, When when Raphael was sitting in that tub, was you heartbroken, yo? <laughs> like yo, he was soaking in that tub for a long time, yo. They, they that fucked whole, him up. That they whole him scene up, on that house is like, damn, this shit. Got I real. said, damn, yo, why are they beating on him like that? Why they do he, that for? Because <laughs> he was supposed to be the, the, the toughest one. He was. That's what I'm saying. That's why he got his... Still, this on fan birthday and shit. I'm like, damn. <laughs> this on fan birthday. I'm was y'all upset? That. Like, shit. We paid money for this. And he wasn't even my favorite. He was fam. No, fam like Donatello. But no, I'm, I'm Raphael. shocked Raphael wasn't your favorite, man. I'm shocked by that. Michelangelo was my favorite, that actually, because the nigga had the nun, he had the nun chops and shit. That, that, that's your son. That's your son. That's my son. You, you, Facts. <laughs> Facts. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that shit fucked me up when they had him in the tub, though, yo. That's, that's funny. Casey um, Jones and shit. Like, yo, why Casey Jones? In a movie, Casey Jones was trash. He was super trash, yo. They, they couldn't have. They, it's like they didn't even try. They didn't. Go ninja, go ninja, go! I'm sorry, <laughs> that was trash too, yo. They had to, oh. they had to make money. MC Hammer was the biggest thing in the world. They had to get the 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 white one, the white the hammer, white one. Yeah, so he was, and then he came out with a move cold. What was it cold as ice? Is that what the yeah. shit was called? It was drip. Cold you as seen ice. cold as ice? Hell, yo, I remember he was riding no, like a Cadillac or some shit. It was a motorcycle. No, it was yeah, a, it was, it was a motorcycle. motorcycle. Yeah. Yeah, it was close. I never watched Cadillac motorcycle. No, the motorcycle no. a Cadillac. <laughs> motorcycle a Cadillac. Cadillac was on, a motorcycle. That nigga was on a whole Kawasaki. He wasn't even on all the another. The Kawasaki a Cadillac. Yeah. No, he was probably driving a Ninja. Yeah, it was a blatant. It was a blazing. Oh a my blazing God. version. The blazing version of like a Kawasaki Cadillac. That was good. Though. That was good. That was Drips. racist. Drip saying riding a ninja on the Black Wrestling podcast is great. That was like, hilarious. Like Bruce Lee. Riding <laughs> a ninja. In the movie. In the movie. In the movie. I've never seen that movie. Shit. I've been saying some shit. That dude. nigga said funky like a box of coochie on loose leaf. On dude. loose leaf. Like, yo. <laughs> a box of coochie on loose. Just sitting there on, on, on some loose leaf. I got a notebook and uh, I'm, you know, I'm a box of box. <laughs> I'm sorry, mom. I left my box of coochie on my notebook. I apologize. Got to go. go baby was in front of the fan, baby. The whole house smelled like that. <laughs> hey, yo, the, yo, the box of coochies probably seep through the box and on the table and shit. You ever left like you ever left like a piece of chicken on some paper? <laughs> and, it, and it start to spread like the the glue oh, starts. Yeah, yeah, spread because it. the paper is porous, so it sucks. Baby, it. why you get that coochie juice on my good with the table? <laughs> Shit stuck. Everything stuck to it. Now I, I'm just thinking of a Dave Chappelle. <laughs> That's pussy juice. That's shit. The, 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 the box has got dried up coochie juice stuck to the table and shit. Yeah, yeah it's, 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 a, whole it's white flakes everywhere. <laughs> You're lucky it was on the notebook. I mean, the fucking loose leaf kind of saved a little bit of it, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, Shouts man. Out. Shouts out to Red Man. Um, so last week we 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 talked a little bit about Kenise Mobley, uh, brother downtown Tony Brown, even even mentioned uh Bobby Ashley. Bobby Ashley. I, I don't want to say I, I underestimated how much the internet was talking about. Because I, I, in talking last week, I remember being like, look, something might happen if, you know, if, if you don't pipe the fuck down. Literally the next day. 
yo, it's it's. This is when I, I, I realize that I'm, I'm getting older and I can't really tolerate a lot of shit is when I know everything is for laughs. Everybody wants to get a laugh out or some shit like that. Trying to get a tweet off. Trying to get a tweet off. But when it's it's people that are legit like you and I. And they, they come into they come into some popularity on an accident mm. you know what i'm saying like yo be cognizant of the shit that that is coming out they, of your mouth that's coming out of you because they don't have any they don't have any le- they leveraging nothing they don't have any clout none of that shit. she's new my nigga. New. she had just done a show i think she had just tweeted that she worked her first raw show so when when i see that no no this was i know we we we're black it's black rats when we talk about a lot of black anybody my nigga. right i don't talk fly shit to people i don't talk fly shit to people period that i don't know but people when i see somebody look like me that that has come up the first thing i'm not going to do is talk fly to them right. i mean they made it nobody makes it right right or, or it's so few that you you it, it, it it's crazy to say something right why why are you worried that she doesn't know the, the history of the intercontinental title well th- th- this 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 was my because because a i don't know nobody knows what the stats are but there's no way that a company that put i've seen the the the, the job listings they put soap opera writing experience tv right. writing experience they don't put mm-hmm. fan of pro wrestling for x amount of years can can speak about that like they they, they don't, don't worry about you that. niggas now, they don't want now, you no. wrestling now, now. that's this is why these niggas mad is because niggas. they think they can get a job because they've been watching their whole life nigga, that don't qualify you for nothing but being an annoying person that tweets that's all that, that's all that qualifies you for so Sorry. Nigga, shut up. Son, <laughs> niggas, when niggas get a microphone, yo, and motherfuckers start to talk about people who watch pro wrestling, it's always slander. Right. The people right. that are actually wrestling don't like you, nigga. <laughs> so why the fuck would well I cause the thing I, I talked to because I, I, I was thinking about the situation and my thought was kind of just like we don't know what we don't know now. Like let's let's say Kenise Mobley, who again, going on the podcast and mentioning how much you don't know about because Drip mentioned it. I think I talked to Rock, uh, you know, in, 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 I was talking to Rock yeah. about the situation, and the I I I, I do agree. Niggas get it. You you don't even she she put her foot in her mouth, and that's what sunk her. I I got a text. I'm not gonna say who I got a text from, but they were like, look. The reason that she got let go was because of what she said, and probably the way she said it. Because again, when you look at the video on We Love Wrestling, it's it's very jokey in the aspect of I don't know what the fuck is going on. Well, because but see, it's, it's it's one of those cases where you don't know what you don't know. You don't know what you don't know. This, I was just having this conversation about something else, but the, the expectation when she came in was you're a comedy writer, right? Mm-hmm. So they want dialogue. Right, they you know you know what I'm saying Matt Riddle stuff ain't written by wrestling people. No, no, they trying no, to get somebody no, and get a joke off. But that that was and I started tweeting, um, a, and, and again tweet. I, I wish I kind of wish I didn't because once you tweet, I was trying to cut my grass. I got niggas trying to hit me on 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 Twitter and all this. Right, you got the grass. You got grass. I mean, I got got <laughs> a little you, bit. I I had to cutting it. Uh, look. It's a, it's a dirty job. Some numbers. Anyway, um, I it I don't understand how people like people don't get how the world works. They don't they they don't understand ratings. They don't understand how ratings works in the grand scheme of things. And they really don't understand how the WWE has been producing television. Again. They have a guy or a couple of guys in a room who build the storylines. They're yeah, the ones guy, that guys. That's well, they, old white men sit in a room and they say, "This is what this person is going to do. This is what the storyline is going to be until we get to 
SummerSlam until we get to Survivor Series. And then the whatever, however many writers that they have for Raw and SmackDown, these other shows, they take what they're supposed to do that night and they write the dialogue. They try and fit it so it's within the seven minutes or the 10 minutes of TV time. Like They're not there to be trying to get this one idea that they have. It's great when you have a Kaz that's there, but that's not always what it is. And she was well within her rights to say that. And y'all motherfuckers wouldn't have even known if somebody hadn't clipped it or somebody hadn't got the quotes or whatever. And that's realistic. My point was like, she only got part because she did the interview. Like it didn't, like again, they hired her knowing she didn't have any wrestling knowledge or experience. That that's, wasn't an issue for them. Like That's, they, that's why they hired her. It's but why they hired her. My whole thing was she got fired because they don't, I especially creative people, the writers, I don't think they want him saying or doing anything. Like I said, I think Dave Schilling said that he wouldn't be on Twitter going forward because I'm going to be a writer for WWE. And then after. The picture he, for the Ritz. That's crutch. That's funny. <laughs> but when he returned, he's like, that was a fun trip to Connecticut. Now I'm back on Twitter. Like he had said, like my tenure is done. So now I can tweet again. Like, right, so you can't right. have a, tw like a Twitter that's linked to your account. Like, like this is you, they probably have burners, et cetera. And all that, but mm -hmm. they want the writers not to be out no. there. Cause either they'll say something they shouldn't about someone or the product. And that WWE is in the right to be like, we don't want that stuff getting out. But also I think they went to the extreme to fire because of backlash to yeah, yeah. it's it, the, the, her getting fired was a reaction yeah. to something that she shouldn't have done. But it's it's again, I, I just had to look it up because from what I saw, the rating on Raw is as WrestleView puts it, the lowest non holiday viewership of twenty twenty one. So her wrestling knowledge or lack thereof had nothing to do with the weekly show. Because it's still in the fucking toilet. So her getting fired, really, it really means nothing. But someone got shut up because they didn't understand how stubborn and ridiculous the pro wrestling fandom on the internet can be. I don't know if there's any other way to really look at it. I hope she learns a lesson about, A, maybe keeping quiet when you probably... Or when you're going to go on the internet and somebody's going to be able to hear some of these things, they might not take a good liking to it. As well, just like protect yourself at all times. At all yeah. times. If, if if she knew the game, if she understood the game, she'd probably still have a, have a job. But I just hope that she learns about it for... I hope she levels up from whatever, you know... The, I, I saw her... Because her Twitter's locked. I saw she was... It seemed like she was going through... A little bit like a day. She had to process things and go before she went out in the world. What's up? And these weird niggas or these weird yeah. wrestling niggas jumped in our inbox and all that and was talking crazy to it. Always. Yeah. yeah. Ridiculous. Matt, you good? Completely <laughs> on wrestling related. Yeah. Sorry. Shikari, Shikari Richardson might miss the Olympics because she smoked reefer. No. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't hear about that. Is that the chick from Dallas? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. No. Oh, yeah. I see it right here. That sucks. For we, for we. If I, if I can run faster than you after smoking grass, I know you, you, you should give it. What happened if I didn't smoke it? Are you wait fucking crazy? That's wait, how wait, they wait. do that. That's I'm how they do that. I'm out this bitch moving like a '95 Toyota Tundra. That sucks. She moving like a 20, 2035 Tesla. She she running like Bruce Lee on the Fuji in the movie. Like a box of coochies on loose leaf. <laughs> so Bleacher Report tweeted this about <laughs> almost an hour ago from someone at <laughs> the Tyler Dragon. He, brought, he was formerly of the Dallas News Inquirer. So. That's crazy. It's a bullshit. I mean, uh, so she, because they they've been doing the Olympic, so she pissed dirty. Yo, it, yo, you literally testing for HGH and shit like that, right? Because right. Because I blew some grass. Thirty day suspension. She qualified. Yeah. So this shit is whack. So yo. she's not going to be able to go to Tokyo. It's certain shit when you when like yo, I, I will. I wish like 
I'm I'm I say a lot of shit I shouldn't say. You know what <laughs> no mean? bullshit. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> No, I say a lot of shit I shouldn't say, and and I say it on podcasts, right? Documented after forever. I, after I say this shit, I look at my cousin's face because I know I shouldn't say it, and he he he'd be like, "Come on, y'all." He <laughs> won't say it. Won't be audible, but his face is, "Come on, y'all." Right. It's certain things in the world I wish that motherfuckers would keep under wraps, like when people say, um. The Olympics is gonna be the blackest shit ever. Mm-hmm. Because once motherfuckers say that and they put it out in the atmosphere, people s- could possibly start to look and, and pick and choose like, all right, we can't do this. You already got Simone Biles quadruple tons. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. She's like, flexing. She she gonna have a goat tattoo by the time she gets goat. to Tokyo. She got a goat on her you like son, you know what it is. You know you're not gonna beat these people. You At can't all. compete. You At can't all. compete. So when when you say shit like this man the Olympics ain't even testing for corona. Y'all niggas testing for reefer that's crazy. Nigga please but it's it sucks because you like again we're we're also a platform that is built on championing black folks in a particular like you it, and that but that's what I say or like I I know I know nobody's snitching but it's 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 always interesting to me when we put certain energies or have certain conversations on the pod and then you immediately see like, ju- like this was just talking about shouts out hit row shouts out swerve scott from winning the nxt north american championship this week was just talking about how niggas was dressed and then they at least i'm not saying they listen to the pod i'm not saying top dollar or the pod no, they listen to the pod it's just it's crazy that they at the very least it was like yo you, what you got that's pink in your closet because we it's, it's right about, about to be the hey, on Tuesday. So we about to be the heart foundation out this bitch Nah, we ain't, they ain't go that far. Son, son, it's, it's, it's so it's so wild. It's just the it's the energy, yo. Because we would legit before the hit rope, before that was a hit rope. We sat down, drip. We we were sitting here talking about Shane Strickland mm-hmm. and how we perceived him to be what we perceived him to be prior to getting to the WWE. Right. Man. You can go back and listen to this shit. Yo, I used to I, yeah. I used to talk about uh Shane Strickland at MLW when and I was MLW. watching. Mm-hmm. And then we, we we specifically said what we thought was gonna happen. And I think it was drip. I, I give I give credit when credit is due. The nigga was like, yo, he's about to take off. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, he's losing to a nigga that's but no, I think probably, I think so probably there's no way he's gonna take off. Was like it's just, they're like really squandering this guy for like no reason other than just like just booking. That's what it is. Like they brought him, fed him to Santos Escobar. His whole thing was he was beating everyone in the cruiserweight division. And it was like he was jobbing. And like out of all the people in this role, this one doesn't make sense at all. And look at him now. It's Let like, me, I got a question. Do you think they were anywhere apprehensive about making these niggas rappers as? Yes. The move for them to uh, move away from stereotypical black characters has been a big deal for them. Um, them putting these niggas as rappers, you know, they they're basically death row. You know what I'm saying? They are death row. It's it's it is what it is. It's they're they're DX. It's their fault. It's DX with like, but really they're death row. It's DX. Is what it is. Is it's not really a stereotype when you can legit see every nigga rapping. Yeah, <laughs> like, one and then every nigga. The fact that he agreed is crazy. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> yeah, well, you no, are, I mean, I mean like, every nigga, every nigga do rap. Right. No, I mean like, like, all right. So, family saying, like, you mean like, beside, like, they would have them like rapping on screen or rapping to the ring. Like, and, that and would that's be the best part is they aren't doing whatever that nigga with the headphones and AEW is doing. Exactly. Right. They're not doing that. They come now. They act like they act like Death Row. Like they are. They are like, true. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To Hootie, to Hootie and AJ is 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 dads and corrupt. You know what I mean? Um. Homegirl Lady of Rage and Swerve and Snoop. 
Yeah, yeah Uncle Brandon. With a little bit of with a little bit of Tupac sprinkled in. A little bit of Tupac. A little bit of Tupac. Snoopac. Snoop. <laughs> Snoopac is good. Snoop. <laughs> Snoopac might be the name oh of the episode. God, I'm Snoop. sorry. <laughs> Snoopac. So that would be like when Snoop Dogg turns into the dog, then like after that he would anamorph back into <laughs> back in back in the Tupac. Yes. <laughs> Snoop turns Yo. into the Doberman that turns in the park. Yeah, right. Yeah. right. It's Tupac with cornrows. <laughs> yeah. Or, or Tupac with it, it, Tupac's got the braids. I'm with not the, the braids. braids. The fuck. He's got the the, the bandana it's tied around. Friend. And the two bandana parts is the ears of the Doberman. That's what that's, <laughs> that's, that's how it morphs. <laughs> Snoop Snoopac is good. Um, there was I. I for, I, I'm mad I forgot to write down homeboy's <laughs> name, but I also heard that somebody else might have been talking about this certain situation. But there was a random genius booking idea that came across. If, correct me if I'm wrong, but homeboy said that at Money in the Bank, because Biggie's in the Money in the Bank match, right? So the idea is that Biggie would win the Money in the Bank championship. Kofi in the Kofi and Bobby Lashley match, he would interfere to help Kofi win the title and then would cash in on Kofi for I as much as we talked about how black the main event scene was for Impact last year, the raw main event scene being Big E, Kofi, and I if there's one way you're gonna have the the, the new day fight. If it's for the title, give me that. Give me that right yeah, now. I'll take an overload, yo. <laughs> it's I, have a, overload. I have a at, at Chandran the man. Ch- so I saw a couple of a uh, couple of uh, black wrestling media uh, folks saying that that what what he was saying looked familiar, but I couldn't. I don't know. I, I think someone might have said that in the comments last week. If I'm not mistaken, as well. I didn't investigate it too far, but it's a genius idea either mm-hmm. way. I yeah. does that mean it's not gonna happen though? They listening. Hey nigga, since you listening, why don't you listen to something good? <laughs> hey, hey, listen to this. Take listen this motherfucking this. idea, nigga. <laughs> what else? You, like oh no, they, I was on public. Like everything else you take, bitch. Put put all the black people in the main event now. In our gear. <laughs> you mean like take this back? Like yeah, yeah, take the fact, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that thing you sent to the to the email? Take yeah, it. Back. We, we broke weed up on it. We broke weed up on it, but you can take it back now. It's all good. Nah, but um, I I would I it would again it would mean because the other part of that was was that uh Brock Brock was in there and it was gonna be Brock and Bobby no title. For SummerSlam, which again, all it all makes sense if you really want to do it. Like, like Brock said, nah. Yeah. Is is it is is Brock just he, he's he's officially just chilling right now? No, it is nah. Nothing's official, but it sounds like that nigga like nah. Yo, he's not going like, to lose to a nigga. Nah, he not. And hey, you sound like uh, sound like it might be your man, son. Go back. Oh, that's right. They are talking Goldberg last Goldberg. week for SummerSlam. Goldberg versus Solberg. Didn't, didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Goldberg versus Solberg. But didn't did Goldberg beat Drew, right? Or Drew no, beat Goldberg? No, Drew beat Goldberg, and it was, yeah. Drew beat Goldberg. Lashley beats Drew multiple times. So why does Goldberg? Correct. How, how did What? What? What was Kenise Mobley gonna have to do in storyline to get Goldberg in WWE to make it make sense? Win money, win money in the bank. Put 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 Goldberg with dreadlocks, yo. It's the only way, yo. If Bubba Goldberg Clock, had Bubba dreadlocks, Clock. yo. Bubba Clock Goldberg, that's his name. <laughs> that's a damn shame. Gold Bumba, Bumba Clockberg. Bumba Clockberg. Bumba is, Yo, it's a Jewish Jamaican. <laughs> <laughs> Go. 
I'm going there. It'd be Drake. Here. That'd be Drake. I, oh, yeah, 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 man. Yeah, yeah. Be Drake. Goldberg. Yeah, yeah. So, I, so watch how you speak on my name, you know? <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. Don't, don't do that yeah, ever again. Your head top. Did, did you ever see? Y'all Boy. see that viral video? Jesus. Of that dude that's got the, he's got the, the toupee on, but it, like it snaps on his fucking head. Like it's like, uh, it, it's literally like, like you, it, it snaps on his shit. Like it don't, the, the shit don't move. You need you to get, get that? Goldberg, you get Goldberg the Drake haircut with the heart cut in, and he could be the certified then lover boy. Or whatever the fuck. Then it could be the real I Jewish you, I can't believe you asked me that when my girlfriend was here. With, if she would still be with me if I had the heart cut in my head. I'm, it's, a, it's a legit question. No, that's a legit question. I'm, I mean, again, I don't know I mean, your girlfriend. You after you wear them panties. She doesn't seem like a person that's into Drake. Like, if, if, if she Drake. wasn't with you, she wouldn't be listening to Certified Lover Boy when it comes out. Am I wrong? Who's listening? No, she said she doesn't. No. She doesn't. So, exactly, I mean, exactly, because she's th- smart. Oh, okay. <laughs> You sound like my dad. Like, like well, I mean, fair enough. <laughs> because she's smart is crazy. Um, the other speak we we've been talking so much about the BRP fifty and all these other lists so that uh, it's uh, we uh, well, you're, we've you're got four just started. See, don't do that. We've yeah. got another list that dropped this week. The um, WWE's fifty greatest tag teams. Yeah, they finished off the uh, the show. They've been doing a um, a show on Peacock where they've been similar to the women. Yeah, yeah. where they've been running Segments. down. They've been running down the uh, the top tag teams. Why do you think they only did WWE like WWE tag teams, whatever that loose description is? It makes it. It makes it makes their it it makes it easier for them to have a concise argument. Because the more you people you allow in, the more people you have to have reasons for having on and for not having on. We absolutely understand that. But you, but it also means that you you're able to then just because where would Harlem Heat have placed if they had opened it up to WCW and ECW? They would have been fairly high, right? Realistically, realistically, they wouldn't have been one Mm-mm. where they should have been. I think the right team is number one. No, no, no. no. It's an argument for but, either, but, either one. I, I, there, there were there there were a couple of people in our comments on Instagram who were like, "I I don't agree with the number one, but it may, it it makes sense." And I think it's the fact that it is only WWE tag teams. It more than anything justifies New Day being number one. So. Granted, it, it, it was some older. It was some older people that were. They had old, some old tag teams that, on there. Yeah. That I was. It was older they people had, commenting. Which yeah, was, older I, folks. Yeah, I yeah. I appreciate it. Um, but when I look at drip up my my bad. Um, no, it's right. It's right. When I look at the Road Warriors time entering as Legion of Doom in WWF. Yeah. Yo. That doesn't compare to anything that shit, right. you pick them. Right. Kofi, Xavier Woods, fucking Big E, Xavier Woods, Big E, Co- you pick, you pick the you pick the team, nigga. Whoever you pick, it doesn't add up. They had them at number six too, which is crazy. But that's what a lot of people were saying. Log, mm-hmm. but they the were warriors. Not the WWE run though. They're t- they're two time WWF tag team champions. Are we I counting f- like the hiding right shit too? I no. That's a, I like, hope a, not. A, that's a, a, I two thousand. That's different. Right. No. Because right. LOD two thousand was is it is a good well it's a good up. it's a good point We're because frauds. LOD and WWF is not it was not the the Road Warriors they they got to WWF based off of the name that they built. In NWA Correct. in Japan and everything, but when A-W-A, they got to the yeah. WWF, it was they they were able to perform, but it was it was that them, was it was the trash. Steiners, it was fifty other teams in there, and it just it was not connecting. That's why they dipped and went back to Japan and went and and then came back later on. Let me ask y'all a question real quick. Who what what are the uh, tag teams that you can say or legit draws? Good question. Road in the Warriors. Reason, um, in WWE? 
Oh, oh, I, I thought you meant period. Because I was about to say, I was about to say, I say do the horsemen count? No, it's you a say, You would say Arn and Tully if you say the horsemen. So and I don't think they... I, I don't. I brain don't busters they, didn't even. Uh, brain busters didn't even make their list. I'm sorry. Uh, they didn't draw. I think, I think it would be the trio of the Hardys, Douglas, and Edge and Christian, because they were able to swap each one out, have two against two, and then do the the th- triple doing attacks. that without without when, the gimmick shit. When I'm saying draw, I mean they are drawing, putting butts in seats. I being think the reason why people. Are, yeah. You think people were watching the show for the Dudleys? Mm-mm. Think that was recent. Go see what to see what crazy shit they were gonna around do. The the up time, around the what's up time? Yeah, two thousand to two thousand one. Around I, the, uh, I think on. there were Dudley fans, and I think there yeah. were fans that, that they from, were the, they loved that part of the show. Yeah, Wrestling the guys two thousand to X seven when they when they were constantly doing any one of those three against each other. X seven. That's X7. what it's called. But I, I don't. I don't yeah. think pe- I don't think people were going to the show to watch a Dudley Boys match like they were going to the show to watch a DX match or something like that. They love that part of the show. Never it's a big part of the show. It's a it's a big moment, but it's the Dud like who who was going to the show in W like were, were WWE so, fans going dressed up as the Dudleys? I wasn't yes. watching at that time. So you so okay, if you exclude I say yes. But if you exclude the Dudleys, like you still have the Hardys. No, again, as, I, as, I as think, we talked think, about with Keats, think, Jeff Hardy's influence everywhere. Everywhere. Because he was a high flyer? Nah. Yeah. Jeff Hardy was a, was a, whole boy, that's a double entendre. In fact, <laughs> exactly, yeah. it, was, it, was, it was what was in that duffel. He was a big influence. High maintenance had ass. Anyway. But it was always his opponents. And you saw his run on top went short like leprechauns. Because he wasn't a draw. He wasn't a draw. The New Day has consistently put butts in seats, sold merch, been able to be the top of the card. Oh, you're biased. Yeah, I'm like, come on. I just said the argument for the Hardys. No, it's the you're same crazy. shit. You're agreeing for that. <laughs> you tell Slow me, your you tell me, you tell me, crazy. You tell me anything I've said is a lie here. It's I'm not saying you're a lie. They start the show close to show here's the, here's the difference between them and every other other every other tag team. When Kofi Mania happened, it was because of all three of them. It, it was w- still a team. It wasn't. A, it was almost like three niggas was the world ha- heavyweight champion. Right. One. It was like a tag team was the champ. Facts. Facts. That being said, that's us. <laughs> I think I I don't know if I, I can make an argument for any other team. And not to mention how important they are for being successful at not being the nigga team. Right. Right. The stereotype team. I'm who who is who has the list up? I got it. I do. I I got I got it right here too. What's up? Who who's number two? Hardy Hardy's. Number three, Heart Foundation. The Heart Foundation. Number four, Edge and Christian. Number five, Dougley Boys. Dougley. Not and you five. don't think any of them are, are, are draws? I, I don't think bigger draws than. than oh, bigger. Them, you no. think bigger. So did but, you ask just who were draws at first? I'm just asking. I, I did ask that at first. Okay. And tag team wrestling, and, a, and, a, and that's the, the biggest pushback I've seen. Uh, with this was from older fans, yes. and they they immediately go to those tag teams back in the day, the Fact. Killer Bees, Can Am Connect, I'm all sorry, niggas. Killer, <laughs> who? Oh, These niggas really got the meg the mega powers is at yeah, thirteen. Yeah, what I, I was about to ask you. So well, my biggest gripe is they had the Bludgeon Brothers at thirty one. The Bludgeon Brothers, come on. Bludgeon Brothers was dope, but they. No. <laughs> You didn't like the Bludgeon Brothers? No. Are you serious? The gimmick I'm was serious. the gimmick or the even was them, dope. even all, all of it. The Matt Luke. Damn. Like, they should, Carver, they he, should, he, they he should, carried they Eric win. Rowan. He carried Eric Rowan. Eric Rowan isn't be, as bad as niggas think he is. I like that. Like, I like better than the goddamn natural disasters. That's facts. <laughs> they better than they better than Rod Rod. What's his name? 
Killer Riley. Bees, the Rougeau brothers. What's they the better than name? the Valiant brothers. Well oh, done. Man. They yeah, it, they wasn't better than Power and Glory. Power and Glory oh, had the yeah. Power and Glory. Power and Glory. Did they even make the list? I hate, uh, I hate Paul Romeo. Power and Glory, Romeo. Yo. Power and Glory <laughs> didn't make Shout the out list. To Hercules. 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 <laughs> Her- Hercules Hernandez. <laughs> Hercules. Crazy. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Power and Glory definitely didn't make the list. But yeah, the Mega Powers were 13. They were oh, one space over the Rockers, which is crazy. The one time I think the Rockers probably should have been higher. The Rockers should have been high. They so, probably and then, was, they were higher. And, and and then and then you got a the the genetic effect, right? Because then you got to got to give props to the teams where both niggas was legitimately like over separately and they came together and they were Always great together too. Like who? Like the goddamn like the new day. No, I would no. I listen. We already well, established. Unlike the new day. all those old well. teams, that's what happened to all those old teams. All them old teams. It was like like who? I don't know who was better, Jacques or Raymond Rougeau. Well, no, I was but, just well. That's but in your argument, like the Hart Foundation had three. Who, no one, they, no one's praising J W. Them they, the brothers, who? That super kick I that ain't them. <laughs> they on that list? Oh, you That's talking what? about twenty three hundred Jackson Street? Yeah. Oh, oh, Facts. Pardon me. Matt Mac Jackson. Me. You said you said Jacques. Jacques, Jacques and Raymond. The Rougeau brothers. Ray, Raymond. The oh, French God. the French dudes. French Canadians. Um well, they yeah, had the Quebecers. They had the Quebecers on instead of the Rouge the Rougeaus. They had the That's, that's terrible. The Quebecers, they were not the a good Quebecers. The Quebecers was over the Rougeau brothers, the Mounties. I mean, all that's, I mean, to be honest, all them teams was eh. no, they was ass. Don't, don't sugarcoat it. A lot of these teams are ass, so. they were ass. So, it I was mean, a lot a- of teams, it was a lot of teams in the 80s, but they like, come on, yeah, the APA at 24 over at Los Squirrels at 25. Come on, some of these rankings don't make any sense. Damn, sound like motherfuckers when they was talking to us. <laughs> that, street, well, it, interesting <laughs> enough, <to> it. <laughs> street, street profits were at thirty three. That's what I'm saying. In the Bludgeon Brothers, Yo, that, no, there sh- were no, people sh- legitimately pissed that they made the list. That the street props were even on it. That's crazy. Come on. No, I mean the 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 the, the argument. Is, what have they done? That's what they're gonna say. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. They're gonna say, Ooh, "What have they, they done?" done. These niggas is crazy. Who are these two? How'd these two niggas get in here? No yeah. bullshit. That yeah. nigga in the ball shorts. Does he have two headbands on? <laughs> you know what? Two LeBron headbands. Back. Yeah, two headbands alone might have to drop that nigga down on him. <laughs> <laughs> that second headband is weighing him down. Nah. Yeah. Um this week. I actually I thought this week was fairly interesting. Um the other day. The CM Punk's pipe bomb promo turned ten. I didn't realize. I'm I'm not going to call it revisionist history yet, but I was surprised that 2020, 2021 felt like the year where everybody who either hates Punk or hated the promo came out and started talking. I mean, it, it has this been a thing, or is it is it really yeah. people just stepping out now? Uh, that's the thing. It's yeah. a Pipe it's bomb, really I, I feel like it's been talking talked about every day. I think yeah. someone mentions the pipe bomb on on the internet, specifically Twitter, every single day. Did you guys rewatch it this week? Yeah. I, I, I didn't make it all the way through. Actually, I, I watching it now, I don't know if it's lost its luster, but it def, it, yes. it, it, it it does not hit the same in 2021 that it so, is. It's 10, 10 years later. later. Here's the thing. That pipe bomb promo is only gonna hit is like it's supposed to, right? The first time it happened, first time. Because if you don't know it's coming, and this nigga get to talking about uh Coke Cabana and being a Paul Heyman guy and doofuses well, and no, got dang uh, that only hit. That's a surprise. Once once the surprise is out of it, but it's yeah. also a cat. It's a catalyst as well because again, like you said, like. Brock Lesnar splitting. Brock Lesnar split like I'm splitting. He came back the next year. Yeah. 
I, Ring, I, of Honor, Ring of Honor blew up much more to the point where like it was uh, really the second company. New Japan again, they they had been in the dumps the decade prior. Mm -hmm. They dominate wrestling much of the 2010s. Paul Heyman comes back. Cole Cabana again. He sparked. I mean, I'm, now I'm not just saying this because I'm a pro CM Punk guy, and I think the pipe bombs. Great. Oh, are you? Are you? Are you no CM Punk yeah. Guy? Are we? I'm, the, a C, I'm a CM Punk guy. Like, I, I, huh. I, I didn't. I didn't know. Neither did I. Just, I, just I, I it, that's. I, I agree with everything you say. Yeah. Um, I just. It's it's I, it's hard to grade just the promo on the merit of watching a promo because of what it was. In its entirety, it's it's a, it's a there's a shock factor to it. There's yeah. a, 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 I don't know where it's gonna stop. Is this real? It the the what was amazing about the pipe bomb was one of those amazing moments of pro wrestling, like uh with, with the nigga uh with the nigga on nutty um nutty professor say what that's supposed to happen. Like, when we watch yeah. when we watch wrestling in like that, like our jaded watch the internet hate everything niggas, yeah. be like yo. You seen that? It stopped everything. Yeah. It's, it, the, well, it, uh, but again, it, 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 in rewatching it this week, you realize because I think everything everybody said is right. It was a very groundbreaking moment. It was an unexpected moment. I think for it's it's shocking, and that's why people are going to see remember it. They're going to lot. I remember where I was. I remember what I was doing. Blah blah blah. Watching the promo and be because we we can still clip. Hard times, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's still bars. CM Punk didn't really have that many bars. Uh, I mean, no, uh, I disagree with that. Company he did, the company I disagree with that. He did not. Have, he was not barred up. And he said. That's 10 years later, Cap. He said, I'm, do, he said, I'm the best. He said, at, at the top, it's just me or something. He had a couple of really dope lines, but it was a lot of just. Uh, I don't know. Here comes Hater Cal. Here we go. Am, am I hating or am I being honest? Am I hating or am I being <laughs> oh, honest? Oh, oh Lord, you. You, you can you can do both. <laughs> I'm not, why why is it you hate? Why, why is it hate? Is bars is bars in there? It's, it's I thought so. I don't, I'm not going to say it's, it's bars, but it's some good shit in there. Mm -hmm. It's good. The reason why the reason why you don't think it's bars is because everybody's eating off of the plate. But you that's see, the like. Thing. You, everybody is eating off the plate to this day. Yeah, to this day. Math, math you're the one who asked, like, did this ruin? You oh, know, ruin. you know what I'm talking ruined. about. Four hundred years. Yeah, because everything's, yeah. everything's a pipe bomb now, and everyone has to say the shit like, "Oh, I didn't think you could say that." And then, like, yeah. someone like MJF that has a whole cool. career because he's saying shit like, and "MJF no got bars gonna, though." No, no, never, never. MJF ain't got bars. Fuck no. Out of time. Yeah, I think so. MJF is. Again, M MJF. Excuse me. Is just a dick. Exactly. He's a dick. So anything he says, I don't think that's a character. Yes. No. His character is a dickhead. But MJF was a dick. I. He we don't was know MJF. Dick. We don't know MJF. I don't know MJF. But he's white. Definitely. Not. <laughs> <laughs> Shouts out to you for saying that. I, th I think, but again, I think that the the way that MJF speaks, I th I I was I was I was just surprised listening back and watching the promo that there weren't more memorable lines for a promo to. And, and but again, it just speaks to what we've been saying that the impact I think for the promo was a lot greater. The line, the lines Yo, are the Paul Heyman guy in a bar. Yeah. You got a T-shirt off of that. He, yeah, th that's the one. At the top, I'm, I'm I'm the best. At the top, it's just me. Best he's in got the world. like the best he's got world. like yeah. He's got like three bars, but the promo's like ten minutes long. Yo, I'm just you, I'm just saying he wasn't spitting the whole time. The shit that bothered me. No, the most about the dusty. Promo. A computer had your job. Yeah, that, he that, said, that hard he time. said the people can't pay their wages. He fucked up. Come on. The Look, shit that bothered me the most about the promo, even ten years, ten years later, it bothered me more was that John Cena laid down in the motherfucking ring he's, for like twenty minutes, yeah, for twenty minutes while he did this shit and acted like he was hurt. He was, I watched John Cena go through tables and stand straight the fuck up. Yeah, so I was, 
Like, yo, you you selling too much, my nigga. And then was tired from carrying the company at that time. Mm-hmm. Facts, facts. Whole shit on his back. No, nah, it was for it was, was foreshadowing them foreshadowing Vin, da- Vin Diesel whooping his ass in Fast Nine with no comeback. Like, you watched that movie? Drip. Yeah. And Drip. Hey, I, I'm gonna watch the movie. So shut Drip. up. Drip. Drip. My mama said it was. Cow wild. was right. Cow was right. Eve was right. My mama said this shit it was trash. Just they were, she, was, she was it. right. Just no, I'm me. just saying. It's my they gotta watch it because they got the Hunger Games ending where they're gonna split the last one into two movies. In. Right. No, I'm you should. I mean, def, you still gotta watch it. You still have to watch it. Just know it's not Fast Five. It's what the fuck is Fast Five? What happened? It's, it's not even. even no it's not even. It's that's the good one. one. Yeah, Fast Five. Right, first five's of all, there are, mul- there are multiple good ones. Relax. Is that Tokyo yeah. Drift. That's a third. That's a, third. a lot of people. A lot of people are starting Tokyo to like Drift. Tokyo Drift. Like I need Tokyo, Tokyo Drift. Split Tokyo Drift. Oh, Tokyo that's, Drift. Drift. I'm gonna, Tokyo he's gonna, he's, he's gonna steal that from you. That's I'm what gonna he steal that. Yeah. He's Just gonna take that like I take everything else. He'll, he'll take Drift your show. God dang white man. When you when you when you visit them bars, that white man of the crafting masters. <laughs> speaking Show of cra- acting like your friend, hey, hey, hey just speak, hey, speaking of crafty bastards, um, <laughs> I, 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 I can't wait for Roman Reigns to bastard. murder Edge. I want Roman Reigns to murder. I don't want to see Edge after Money in the Bank. I will, but I don't want to. You will. Shout out to Edge getting some dope offense in. That he was he he was ramming that motherfucker head into the announce like like five six times like goddamn and dude doing like it <sighs> it was it was a good ending to that show because and it, it the, you know it's one of those things when niggas didn't know there right. was no I seen him at the airport none of or that there was, there was they, no they conversation about Edge at all you have and they to. didn't they didn't spoil it either like Edge is coming back tonight what's he gonna do like you right gotta right Edge, you got to keep Edge away from from fucking physical contact for the next six weeks. Well, that's the other thing, yeah. They still got because time before that's money. That's all he has. Like, keep keep them away from each other because he's going to get injured. It'll probably... I, I, I imagine it because the other part of the Roman storyline is now uh, the other Uso is, is becoming the right hand. The other Uso. <laughs> I, Jimmy I, it's Uso. Jimmy Uso. I'm sorry, um, but it, it's it, it it's going to be. It, I assume there's going to be some back and forth between Jimmy and Edge specifically. It's cool that they had built up that shit back in the day, or at least what last year or whatever, and now it could come back and play it play again in the storyline. But uh, Roman Reigns is going to kill that man. We hope. Mm-hmm. I, I, I I do fucking hope. Um, Put that nigga in the dirt. <laughs> I, 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 is there anything else? I th- I think that might be it. I have nothing else on the dock. And again, Yo, the show's we, over. Hey, I'm rest a, in rest in peace, Del Wilkes, the uh, Patriot. Oh, that's right. No, that is right. I did see that. That had, I remember. Uh, he was Yo, Kurt Angle. Well, because what he was? Did I see him in, in ECW first? I remember no, I him. Thought he was in there second. I'm trying to remember. Did he have a thing with Hogan? Huh? Didn't he have a thing with Hogan? Let's see. Like they were they were an uh, item? You stupid. No. That's very funny. He had a feud or something. Or he was with him. Something happened with him and Hogan. Uh, I, I'm not sure. I, I, I didn't realize he had done W. He was in the WWF in like the early 90s, like 91, 92. He went to WCW in 94. And then he went because he, he had that one last stint in WWF in like the late nineties. They don't have his ECW run in here at all, unless it's the other page. Uh, I feel like there might have been multiple people named the Patriot, which might be the. Yeah, problem. That's more than that's more than likely. I would say it's because there was a dark Patriot guy as well. But uh, I re- I remember he because he was I, there was that one. Uh, flag match on Raw. He was beefing with Bret Hart when Bret was King Canada, and they, I remember that one specifically. I feel like this country might... shaped like a toilet bowl. You know, great. That, talk about bars. Oh my God, Bret Hart just whew, shit. Don't touch it. That's hot. Damn, Bret. What's what's the West Lee bar? 
Oh, that, that my bad. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. You got to talk to Son of Mars for that because he, <laughs> he's Wesley, right? <laughs> he he keeps Nash those Carter. words in check. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you're you're uh, you're a charge of, He's he's in charge, nah. of the, in charge of the white one. Yeah. Is that racist? That's bad. I'm sorry. We should no, get I out of here. The white the one. fucking the white white one. Again, you can't be racist to white people. No. I didn't say that. I, I said it. I didn't. He said it. I'll adopt it, but I didn't say it. The, 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 the white person told me, let's get the fuck out of here. Y'all got any black asses of the week? I'm gonna go. Uh, I gotta go. I, I gotta go. A home team, yo. Uh, my nigga. Uh, my nigga. AJ took a ridiculous bump in the in the Capital Combat League Center uh, by the Rock uh, over the woods <laughs> arena, Baptist Church, and um, you know what I mean. He recovered, got up. You know he got up smooth. Nigga was at the top of the ramp with his man celebrating. So yeah, I'm, I'm going with hometown. No, right. you know what? I'm I'm sorry. I changed my mind. Uh, quick change. I'm going with Greg. Uh, I'm, I'm going with uh, stat guy Greg for uh, no selling the surprise of the Roman Reign uh, Roman Reigns uh, video today uh, interview today to drop on CP. Right. Yeah, I'm going with stat yeah, guy Greg. Greg. And and for sh- and, and for shout niggas out for two weeks in a row with the BRP fit. Nigga, you salute. Shout out to the delegation. Yeah, right. stat guy Greg, my black wrestler. Yo, I got. Four black wrestlers of the week this week. <laughs> Look, you see what I'm saying? This is these are the faces that I'll be talking about when a nigga is fed up. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that's not a fed up face. Yo, that when is, he is fed up, that yo. Is, that is a this nigga, no, he wrong. Face. This is the <laughs> funny shit. Like, yo, if y'all are watching the show, he better be check you my cousin's face whenever I say some shit. Because that nigga's <laughs> face tells it all, yo. And it'd be funny. But oh, I can't so. laugh during the show because I'm in it. But that's funny. So we had Holly Dead. Holly Dead was on AEW Dark. She fought Nyla Rose. She got squashed. But <laughs> shout out to Holly Dead. Um, oh wait, yeah, I saw that. She like jumped off Nyla jumped off the top and hit her when she was dangled over the rope. Yeah, that shit looked crazy. Son. That's her thing. Yeah. The, uh, shout out to No, but it, it looked like yeah. she was dead. Like that. It looked like oh, she crazy. got murdered. Yeah, Holly was dead. Facts. Facts. <laughs> Facts. Shout out to Lee Johnson. Shout out to Lee Johnson. Um, Kenny Bangle got murdered by Lance Archer. Uh, but Sean Dean and JDX, shout out to We Love Wrestling. Um, Sean Dean and JDX, very good match. Yo. Good looking to JDX. Uh, congratulations for making it to AEW. That's, those are my black wrestlers a week. All four, up, but shit, all six of them. I mentioned six niggas. Shout out to y'all. All them, all look at all these niggas. Look at all these niggas. This is all, all niggas. them niggas. Got binders, binders of niggas. Got binders full of niggas. Binders full of niggas. Full of niggas. If y'all understand binders that. Together. Binders. Hey, somebody put him. Terry, put him off the. Oh. <laughs> hey, Terry, 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 where you at? <laughs> what about you, Drip? Uh, I'll go with Ricochet for the mm. crazy spot that he. That's the only thing I saw from Raw mm-hmm. was slow wing, slow wing. <laughs> people were yeah. people were trying to undersell that spot though. Yeah, like come on, yo, it's certain Ricochet do certain shit. And I'm like, yo, this nigga is out of control. Even even with jumping off of the top rope, he still had to clear the in area jeans. from the in, he did jeans. jeans. From the he ring apron to a person sitting on the dash. Come on. But, Cal, you can see where he didn't fully get the rope to right. jump. It looked like he was shaky on the rope and still made it. Mm-hmm. That's the fucking crazy part. Yeah. Damn. And they got half a spider monkey. Damn, that's racist. Nah, not unless Jerp says it. That's right. That's, a, that's, that's a very Did good Did you say point. it today, Jerp? Jerp said no. Yes. <laughs> what? My my black wrestler of the week is gonna be uh Kofi Kingston. Cool. If for nothing, Kobe. Co- Kobe Kingston. Um just just for that promo. I don't care who Kofi Kingston is. You know, you know Shasha Banks, 
Bobby Lashley. <laughs> she ever throw all night. 12 mans in the All night team in in a 20 man battle. No. Now, if, <sighs> if, you were, if you do recall the, the six people that listened to us years ago. Years ago. Years ago. Years ago. <laughs> niggas, 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 niggas was niggas, definitely niggas, saying niggas niggas. niggas, niggas, niggas was saying Kofi, Kobe Kingston can't Kobe cut Kingston. a motherfucking promo. Facts. Facts. Years later, this nigga is, is scorching hot. It's the same. Shout out to MVP. It's, Shout out to their, their back and forth was really good. But again, Kofi, Kofi setting Kobe up. Should have ran that nigga's pockets though. What you got? Yeah, Kobe should have grabbed. Well, he couldn't have grabbed one of the women. I think it's he's he he is his storyline. He's married, right? I think he is a good father in storyline. In real life, I think. Mean. Well, no, I'm sorry, but yeah, I'm saying yeah. on the show. Whoa, I'm saying whoa, on the Kyle, show. What are you Dang, why are you burying a man like that? I'm they not burying him. I'm like, saying. What did he do when they was up at Complex, boy? <laughs> what I'm saying yeah. is, and he's not a sleaze in character on the show, so he wouldn't normally. Just, with a bitches ass. He wouldn't just <laughs> grab us. He wouldn't be grabbing one of Bobby Lashley's women's or whatever. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> um, with a bitches at nigga. Jesus. <laughs> On that Wait, note. Sneaker shopping, bitches, cow. I, uh, that right, I yo. don't. That I don't. Right, know. I don't know nothing about what this right, man is like, talking nope. about. <laughs> we, 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 where, where can the people find y'all on social media? Hey man, every uh, uh, Ilfan Seven Nine on your social media choice, but every weekend on Where's Buffy at Where's Buffy, uh, Where's Buffy dot com. Um, that's all I got. That's it. Uh, man, if, at man, if Damon, you can find me where the bitches at, nigga. <laughs> Christ almighty. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Trip, we gotta go. on Twitter at Davis AK Drip, Instagram Davis Colum DC. Most importantly, Stat Guy for BRP, the white motherfucker, and your predictions champion forever and ever. ever. The white nigga. Um, <laughs> Matt Cal on Twitter, at Black Rasson on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. BlackRasson.com is the website, and as always, you can find the Black Rasson podcast. On YouTube, youtube.com slash black wrestling. Please subscribe. subscribe. Please subscribe. Uh, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google, wherever you get your podcasts, we are there. Yeah, please subscribe to the YouTube, like, comment, watch, review. Watch what? the visuals. See the merch, the laughs, all of it. You let this motherfucker go. He, he Niggas been trained. He know what it is. He media trained. Well, I, I, I see the signal at this point. Just be like, and he just, he just rattles it off. <laughs> like... Come on, drip. Say it, drip. Say it. Say it, drip. Say it. YouTube, Black Wrestling. Thank interviews you. With, interviews with Chris Bay, Trisha Dora. Oh, he's talking. Black that Delegation, talking Chris next? Ann. <laughs> Sky High Eve. Who's next? Stack Eye Greg. Who's next? Cody Dre. Who's next? Every fucking buddy. <laughs> Every nigga we know got an interview, nigga. <laughs> nah. Do we public know in, you? If we know you, you'll be on the pod soon. And you, and you, and you. You get it. Yo, we got it. Right now, we just feeling time. <laughs> we out. Nah, we, we'll catch y'all next week. Uh, now this shit ain't over. This, this shit is over. This shit is over. <laughs> this week. Like me or not, I didn't come up here to be like. I came up here to get paid.